Deadliest Catch Boat Crashes The ships featured on Deadliest Catch are absolutely massive and take experience and skill to use. Unfortunately, there have been multiple ships that have crashed in Deadliest Catch's run. Okay, guys, check the bow, check the bow. The wizard ship was getting crabs as usual, but there was a smaller boat getting dangerously close to the wizard. Unfortunately, this smaller ship lost power and eventually crashed into the wizard. You have an engine failure? What happened? I mean, what occurred to have you try and cut right in front of this boat? That's doing four and a half knots. It's trying to kick it back in reverse. I couldn't get the throttles to back. It turns out that the captain on the smaller ship simply lost control of the ship, causing it to move straight into the much bigger wizard. The wizard ship then checked for damages. So this right here is our uh, collision void. So in the uh, event that we collide with the boat, kind of like what just happened, this is a fully enclosed space. This will take on water, opposed. Against all odds, the ship was still in decent condition, and no significant damages were found on the ship. However, the other smaller ship wasn't so lucky and did sustain a significant amount of damage due to the massive anchor the wizard had. Looks like we hit him with the anchor and then Kurt sort of caromed off and then nicked him up here. This rightfully angered the captain of the wizard and he was raging, but after a while, he was able to cool down. Unfortunately, this isn't the only ship that crashed on Deadliest Catch. Watch out, you guys. Looking bad, looking bad. Looking bad. Oh. No. Come on. Steve, what the f Nobody had a bad. The Southwestern wind ship was in a bit of an awkward situation. The ship was docked in a way that it was too close to the Summer Bay ship and needed a way to maneuver around it to progress with their crab hunting goal. For that to happen, I gotta spin this boat around. So they don't get blown into the summer bay right here. Captain Harley must position his crane near the dock to get his 86 pots on board. As if this wasn't bad enough, the refrigerator door inside the ship fell off and a deckhand needed to get to work fixing it. After that, the captain started moving the ship. This thing spun around here where we can do this. What is he doing? Wild Bill was watching this happen the entire time, and he knew exactly what was going to happen. He ordered his crew to get the crash pads ready. On the southwestern wind, the captain was panicking and had no idea what to do. Tell me how far I can come. 200 feet! Well, Kill the f back of his boat, let's go. That's not 200 feet. The crew had a poor sense of distance and as a result, the southwestern wind ship crashed into the summer bay ship with everyone on board. This could have been fatal and this caused severe damage to the ship. We all know it can be rough at sea and stuff happens, but every once in a while it's rough at the dock too, and hell, we might as well be fishing right now. Wild Bill was extremely understanding as he knows firsthand how stressful maneuvering these massive ships can be. Tacoma looks to race back out to the grounds and finish off the last of the wizard's massive $1.2 million quota. Well, they're starting to pick up a little bit. Unfortunately for us, it's going to be on our stern. On the Throughout Deadliest Catch's run, there have been several close calls. Captain Monte and his crew were extremely exhausted, 
the weather conditions were not looking good and the captain started to lose control of the ship. Star gun was here. Got you here, bye. Yeah, I got you here. You're just coming around there. Yeah, I'm just going to make the cut here for Captain's Bay Valley Dock. <laughs> the winds were picking up and Monte was barely able to control the ship. What made everything far worse was that there was a massive ship over twice the size of Captain Monte's ship heading straight their way. Back it up. I'm full start, full start. Here we go, man. Holy smokes. Okay. Captain Monte just barely missed the ship by a couple feet. This gigantic ship was over 1,500 tons and could have split Monte's boat in half. Thanks to Monte's skills and experience, he was able to maneuver through this. Harder and harder to get. Oh. Power's out! Oh. I got nothing. I got no steering. I got nothing. You lost power! All of a sudden, on the Northwestern ship, the entire ship lost its power. To make matters worse, the Northwestern was heading straight towards the dock. Stop, Norm! Edgar! I can't see nothing, Norm. Get up there in the anchor. The crew scrambles. The crew was attempting to drop down an anchor, but that did not work as the ship was completely dark and there was no way of seeing. Edgar went to work in the engine room. Yeah. Okay, I got steering. Thankfully, just moments before the crew was about to collide with the docks, Edgar was able to fix these engine issues. Apparently, the engine overheated causing this entire mess. It was pretty darn quick to get the other engine going. Boat is on a collision course with the dock. We're getting close. Somebody get up here. Come on, baby. Back up. Back up. Oh, God. We're so close. I can't get the anchor off, Norm. Anchor! I can't see it up. Okay. 